The manga Oshinoko asks a very simple question. Can you imagine what it would be like to be born a celebrity's child? If you were the child of a celebrity from the very beginning, how would our life be? In our minds, people who are in the entertainment world are a special people who are born with everything they need. Love from people, incredible wealth, freedom, to do what they want and also getting away with things that average people cannot. We get a glimpse into the entertainment world through the eyes of queens acquired to be the children of pop idol Oshino AI. The entertainment industry here is shown as a place filled with lies. It is common for celebrities to present a fake persona in order to appeal to their fans. The lies that the fans adopt about the celebrity allow them to craft a perfect image of the celebrity that they themselves don't know is just an illusion. In the world of idols, there can be a wide range of fans, including people who are cool and people who are creepy. Goro is one of the people who loves Hoshino AI, a very cute and talented pop idol. As a patient of Hoshino AI, he meets a young girl named Sorina. Sorina has a dream of becoming a famous dancer, just like Hoshino AI. It is quoted that Goro is obsessed with Hoshino, but it is simply not because he is a creep, but because he believes himself to be a failure because he is unable to save Serena, and he sees the splitting image of Sorina in Hoshino, because being a pop idol was also her dream. As much as he wanted Serena to follow the path of Hoshino AI and become successful, he feared she would fail. Hires ops in the industry hide a lot of things for fear of losing their reputation. Despite what we think we know about certain celebrity, we don't really know much because it's been kept secret because of the company's reputation can be tarnished and revenue can be lost as a result. When AI gets pregnant, her manager asks her to keep the whole thing a secret. Since if the world knew, the manager's business would collapse. In my opinion, this is a lot more common in the real world and people aren't aware of it until it's revealed. It's not uncommon for celebrities to live a double lives in which their public persona differs greatly from their private persona. In the case of Hoshino AI, the pop singer who is also a mother, she has to bear the responsibility of having children while also maintaining herself as a a star to the public. It is really interesting to see her maintain her public life with her audience while also struggling as a mother. There is also a supernatural element at play here. Although it is not quite explored, Dr. Goro gets killed by obsessive fan of Hoshino AI and both he and Serena gets reincarnated as a child of Hoshino. With the knowledge of his past as a doctor of AI and now as a newborn, he feels quite uncomfortable. In a way, he feels happy being so close to his idol, but he also feels uncomfortable while AI tries to breastfeed her as he was her fan and doesn't feel like he has that right. Serena also seems happy to be reborn as a side of Hoshino. I felt like it was gross and I was very uncomfortable at first when I watched it because it's kind of weird to have your fans be born as your child. In a way, it's just a premise of the manga. What if you were a child of a celebrity from the start? Since both Guru and Serena were nobody in their previous lives are now Hoshino AI's daughter. As I made my point earlier, the entertainment industry as depicted here is full of lies with a very small set of honesty. People lie or spill half truths even if they do not want to. As shown here, no one can get a celebrity to have the best performance because the industry doesn't care about talents or art. It simply cares about the money which is also realized by Hoshino AI. We also get peek into how many small time celebrities get paid, which is a lot less than you think because the salary gets deducted by a lot giving royalty and TV fees and also due to costumes and other accessories. We tend to think that even small celebrities make a lot of money through their performance which is very well depicted here as the best face life. The world of acting and filmmaking is also explored here. Acting is said not only to be imitating a character but also an art that allows communication with character to the audience. It is clear that Aqua and Arima are really great actors from the very start because the way they communicate in their roles is simply both visually and literally groomed clarity. I think the acting part is the best in this manga as we get to experience the emotions of the character differently in the manga as they play different characters in their world. Power and previous also makes a huge difference in the quality of the film produced, which is evidenced through this panel, which clearly states only super big short directors have the authority to pick their own cast, which is a, a great deal of effect in filmmaking. This also helps in giving us insight into why small time directors movie tend to fail. It's because of poor casting choices. Oshi Noko helps us to navigate the entertainment industry as a whole and helps us to witness what goes on there. Through its characters, we get to witness how much celebrities are skewed just like us. I learned a lot through the info given at the end of each chapter about the entertainment culture of Japan, which also shows 
the various styles of acting and gifts of information and Japanese entertainment culture as a whole.